Well, it's the season. Uh, we've made it uh, uh, through uh, spring and, and summer, as weird as those months were weather-wise, into fall, and we're headed towards winter. Uh, and uh, with heading towards winter, of course, there's lots of different festivities that go on in and around our area. And we're going to talk uh, for the next few minutes about Millerton. Uh, they're holding their annual Festival of Lights weekend coming up November 25th and 27th. And with us today, we have Dana Scarpa and uh, and Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy, uh, am I pronouncing your last name right uh, by, by saying Boviard? That is absolutely correct. Yes, I, I, ju- on, I just you. I just wanted to make sure that I that I was that I was doing it right. Uh, uh, well, well, first of all, uh, we'll let people know who don't know uh, which stores uh, you both represent. Dana, we'll start off with you first. I own Designer Finds, an upscale bo- uh, consignment boutique in Millerton, opened Tax Day. <laughs> what a day to open it! And uh, Jer- uh, Jeremy, of course, you are from the Movie House in Millerton, right? Yes, that is correct. I'm the general manager of the movie house. All right. Uh, well, all right, we've got the, that out of the way, and we'll talk now about uh, this event, which uh, I know has turned into a, a great event, and I expect an even bigger event. this, You've got a lot that goes on uh, all weekend long. Uh, did the Mil- Militant Business Alliance, uh, did you all get together and, 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 and put this together as a, as, as, as a group? So the Militant Business Alliance... In combination with the fire department, have done the annual festival lights, the Christmas tree lighting, the big uh, parade of lights. Um, Jeremy and I happen to be two new people on the Business Alliance, and we formed a smaller committee that had about five of us involved to hold and get together all the information for this wonderful event. I think I think it's great. This event uh, really does feature a lot of different uh, a lot of different uh, chances for families, as a matter of fact. And uh, Jeremy, talking mm-hmm. talking to you, obviously uh, the movie house is is very is very involved in this. Uh, obviously, with with screenings. Yes, absolutely. So uh, as the movie house has done in years past, um, and we did last year with Elf, we are very happy to bring back a. Uh, free screening to everyone in the community who would like to come. We're screening the Polar Express, the uh, uh, Robert Zemeckis animated film starring Tom Hanks. We're opening all three of our main theaters, First Come, First Serve, and we're also including, free of charge, a uh, small popcorn and a beverage of your choice, fountain soda beverage of your choice. So we're uh, happy to have... uh, uh, 368 or, or more, I guess. We'll even accommodate more somehow if we, uh, if we have the capacity. So, yes, very excited for that. That's starting uh, at 11. So doors will uh, open at 1030. Like I said, first come, first serve. And then immediately following the film, we got a really cool thing going on across the street, Dana. But you know what we have before that, Jeremy? Because we figured well, true, people are going to be lining up for the movie theater um, across, we have yeah. ice carving demonstration by none other than Jeff Scarpa, who is a professional ice carver, who will be carving ice from 10 to 2 across the street from the movie house in uh, Veterans Park. So you can watch the beginning. Of, everyone can watch the beginning of these two big 300-pound blocks of ice. <laughs> and then when they come out of the movie, it's going to be an ice carving. Now, uh, how did Jeff get involved in, 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 in ice carving? Uh, he's an executive chef. Okay. Um, so he just learned to do it, and he's just creative. And he's, you know, traveled all over the U.S. doing some competitions. Yeah, it's two 300-pound blocks of ice. I just give credit to people that that can do this, not only because they've got the talent <laughs> yeah. to do it and the imagination, but damn, it gets cold. <laughs> <laughs> not to mention it's a block of ice, and he sees it three-dimensionally, and we don't. Well, that's, that's the truly amazing thing about it. That they, they have the idea, and then they can actually do it in the round, which is it always just blows me away. Yeah, so it's that- wonderful. And the, it's great for the people, you know, the adults and the kids. So after they, you know, can watch some of that, they'll go to their movie and they come out and go straight across the street because they're going to be handled, handed a uh, raffle ticket, a free raffle, t- raffle ticket. And between one fifteen and one thirty, 
we're going to hold a raffle, and we have amazing prizes that have been donated from various local uh, businesses in town. Bicycles, scooters, gift baskets, gift certificates, all kinds of things. They're great. Now, let me just say that what, what we're talking about right now uh, is on Friday, okay? This it's is all Black Friday. On, yep. on the 25th, and that's uh, the ice carving, the free screening of the Polar Express, and then uh, the children's raffle. So now we can move on to, to what goes on in between 1 and 3. Concurrently with the raffle, uh, is going to be cookie decorating and live music. Uh, hosted uh, at the Northeast Community Center. And then we have hot cocoa and cookies uh, being given out right at Veterans Park, right where the ice carving is going to be and where the um, raffle is going to be held. That's being uh, uh, hosted by Salisbury Bank. And then also being picked up uh, and dropped off in that same spot um, at Veterans Park and Duchess Ave are free hay rides. As well. So uh, you get cookies, you get cocoa, you got hay rides. Uh, there's going to be even more. Uh, we're really trying to go all out um, with both a combination of things that have uh, been, you know, successful and uh, been really appreciated in years past. And then kind of some new uh, some new elements we've brought as well. So we're really excited about all these uh, all these things happening this afternoon. All uh, also from uh, two thirty to four thirty. We have the Salisbury Brass Band performing holiday songs in Veterans Park. So Veterans Park is really kind of going to be the epicenter uh, from which everything flows uh, in, in Millerton, uh, particularly on Friday. And then uh, leading up after that, we have Dana. Uh, well, that's when the Festival of Lights begins, you know, with the um, fire department uh, lineup, I think, you know, on the side of the streets will be at 4.30. The Festival of Lights Parade will start at 5 o'clock and the tree lighting with the fire department. But there's just, you know, all the stores will be open a little bit later that evening. So if it's really cold, people can stand mm-hmm. and, and wait inside the buildings. You know what's great about this? And uh, and uh, it gets darker earlier now. And so when the Salisbury mm-hmm. Brass Band is performing uh, their holiday songs, the great thing about Millerton is when they're performing those songs, you're going to be able to uh, walk around Millerton and hear that music basically yes. wherever you where, wherever you walk. Uh, you're going to be absolutely, able to. and that just that just adds uh, uh, just a feeling of of definite holiday holidayness with no no problem at all. Now, all this we're talking about right now is Friday, but as we said in the beginning of this. Uh, it's this is a, a weekend a weekend event that you have going on all weekend long, and obviously let's talk about some of the participating shops and some of the things that are going on. Yes, yeah, so throughout the weekend, uh, there's going to be uh, festive tastings and treats, uh, seasonal discounts and sales in a lot of the participating shops uh, on Main Street and elsewhere. Uh, the Hamelli Ornament uh, Workshop is going to be at the Irondale Schoolhouse. Uh, there's a book giveaway at the Northeast uh, Millerton Library. Uh, and then one of the things that we're most excited about, uh, we've brought a, a snowman scavenger hunt. Uh, and, uh, Dana, do you want to describe exactly what's going on with the snowman scavenger Marshall, hunt? Marshall, do you remember in years gone past they had done the Where's Waldo Absolutely. in Millerton? Absolutely. Years, years, like my kids are in their 20s, and I remember bringing my kids over to do Where's Waldo. So we're kind of going along the same line, but it's a snowman scavenger hunt. The kids will all be given a postcard, and they go to different participating stores, which you'll know because they'll have a, a sign in the window whether or not they're participating. And you, the kids go to each store and grab a piece of per se, the pie, piece of the snowman. So you might get a scarf, you might get a mitten. And so they they build their snowman. And once they're done, they're going to go down to the Irondale Schoolhouse where they have that Hameli uh, woodworking wood shop all weekend, and they're going to get a little prize there just for participating. It's really going to be fun. Now, on Saturday, I, I, I see notice here that uh, that, that uh, the ornament workshop is, is going to be from 12 to 3. I'm, I'm pretty sure. You know what? I, I, I know it's going to be on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, so 12 so to 3. So they're having the wood, sh- wood shop working uh, workshop all weekend long. And uh, the Northeast Militant Library is also going to have a book giveaway uh, all weekend Correct. long as well. Yep. 
it, it just sounds like a yes. it just sounds like a fun a fun event for all weekend long. Uh, and uh, if if people have been listening and they want to m- get more information, of course, on the web, you just have to go to millertonevents dot com. That's millertonevents.com. When we post this up on our on-demand page under the interview section, we'll also have uh, all the events listed in order, and we'll have a link to millertonevents.com. It's great because you've expanded this. Has it been a little hard to try to figure out the schedule, putting something like this together with so many different pieces? Jeremy, I don't think it has. Do you? I would actually say... I actually think it's been more exciting than anything else. I think maybe, like you mentioned earlier, we've had a couple of years off, more or less, because of COVID. I've, I feel like there's been an overwhelmingly positive response for people to want to be involved in various capacities. So, yeah, aside from, you know, tying certain point A's to point B's together, it's actually been, you know, really great and from an enthusiasm and engagement standpoint. You know what I, I, I've seen uh, develop over the past uh, 10 years? The great community involvement of all the businesses and individuals that uh, participate and make all of your events, and I do mean all of your events year-round because you have so many uh, so popular, not only the people from the Millerton area, but from the entire tri-state region. Absolutely. I mean, this is this is for everyone. This is for, you know, it's, you know, like the movie is first come, first serve. I, I think it's going to be a big sellout because... We're we're posting posters all over the place in in the, in you know really from Millerton to Amenia to Salisbury Sharon all different places. I mean it, it's just going to be a fun family event. And let's not forget all these stores on Main Street. Yeah. They're going to be having great sales. Another great thing about Millerton is a. There's plenty of parking between the street parking, Century Boulevard, and the parking lot off South Center Street. And Millerton is a very easy town to stroll through. Absolutely. I mean, all that adds up to to a a really great uh, day on Friday and Saturday all weekend long. And, uh, Jeremy, you'll love this. I think you will have a sellout. Years and years and years ago, I was at a radio station in Kingston, New York, and a movie made a debut. And uh, we uh, we were at 94.3 on the dial, and we had a special free showing uh, of, uh, well, actually, it was a Monty Python movie. Uh, and it was a free showing that included uh, a soda and a popcorn. They, they had five theaters. They had to open up all five theaters. Uh, and I think when you pick the Polar Express and families can see that for free and they can get popcorn and a soda, I definitely think you'll fill all your theaters. All weekend long, these stores are offering, yep. dr- you know, drinks and snacks and sales and, uh, you know, make it Millerton. It's going to be a great weekend. It really will. All right. And people, once again, if you want more information, millertonevents.com. Once again, the annual Festival of Lights weekend, November 25th, 26th and 27th in Millerton for the whole, whole family. Guys, thanks for joining me today. And uh, I'll say it a little bit in advance, but why not? Happy holidays. <laughs> 